Hi, my name is Mary Ellen Cadman. I'm a social worker here at the Clinical Center, and I'm going to talk with you today about anxiety. So let's begin with what anxiety is. Anxiety is a diffuse, unpleasant, vague sense of apprehension, often accompanied by symptoms such as headache, perspiration, palpitations, tightness in the chest, mild stomach discomfort, and restlessness, which manifests itself as an inability to sit still. Anxiety is something that every human being can relate to because virtually everyone has experienced those kinds of symptoms at some time or another in their lives. Many very common experiences can cause us to have anxiety, such as all the firsts that we go through in our life. For example, taking an exam, getting married, becoming a parent, and coping with illness. Again, the anxiety these events can evoke is considered beneficial and normal. Anxiety about a test can cause you to study harder. Anxiety about getting married can cause you to take stock of your life and your values and really take a personal inventory about your life thus far. Normal anxiety can cause you to feel jittery or have a case of the nerves or stage fright, maybe feel a little sweaty before an exam or a presentation. But if you're having repeated or random panic attacks or persistent worry in anticipation of another panic attack or feelings of terror or impending doom, then you know that your anxiety has become something more than a normal reaction to daily life. Normal anxiety is a realistic fear of a threatening object, place, or situation. When that fear becomes irrational and you're avoiding situations or places, then again, you've kind of moved into a more severe form of anxiety that might be getting in the way of your life. Anxiety, sadness, or difficulty sleeping immediately following a traumatic event like the loss of your parent or receiving bad news is really a normal reaction. But if you're having ongoing or recurring nightmares, flashbacks, or emotional numbing, again, it's becoming something more than a normal healthy response to a life stressor. So what can we do to cope with our normal anxiety? Here's some possible strategies for you. Exercise, eating a balanced diet, limiting alcohol and staying away from drugs, reaching out to others and getting involved, going easy on yourself and not trying to be perfect all the time, taking a time out, trying to put things in perspective, maybe deciding to talk to someone before your anxiety really takes over your life and looking at what might trigger your anxiety. These are all strategies you can use in your day-to-day -day life to manage the stressors that all of us experience as we live on this planet. So in conclusion, anxiety is an appropriate response to an event being faced and can be used as a powerful motivator for you to change certain aspects of your life. If we listen to our anxiety, we can take the steps necessary to change the direction of our lives. Thanks, and I hope you find these tips helpful.